Once again here, our first night live coverage from a packed Winter Gardens and uh, Keith Dello there coming into his familiar things can only get better. He particularly asked for a solo walk on because it motivates him. There's his stats, 38, current ranking number 10. He won the World Championship back in 83 as a 66 to 1 outsider, 3 to 1 against here. The best he's done in these championships is the quarter final. Well, Peter Everson came on, his walk-on music was lost in space. This really is a Star Wars though, Sid. Everson, one of only three men to have won this title. Let's have a look at his achievements. Yes, from West Drayton, Middlesex, ranked 5, 34. A tremendous competitor in all senses of the word. The flair of Gascoigne, the tigerishness of Ronaldo. Semi-finalist in the 1998 World Championship. This will be a very tight call. Because although Della has got the face of a slumming angel, this lad has got the face of a junkyard tom. He is aggressive, it's bottled, it's focused. But this will be a test of temperament. This is going to be a mind game. Because I think on form, there's very little in it. And Della has got a recent victory over a very short course to Phil Taylor. Over Phil Taylor, greatest player ever to draw breath. Sixteen. In fact, so it's, true to say, it's true to say that these two players are, I think, the only two who have recorded a victory over Taylor, the omnipotent, in uh, the last year. This is Peter Everson. They call him the Fen Tiger, and he can burn brightly on his night. Seventeen. Keith Deller. Throwing a 20 gram dart, 40 to 1 for the championship. Quarter finalist is his best. Went out in the first round last year. He'll be anxious to atone for that. And you must excuse the likes of myself, John Green, and Dave Lanning for watching Poetical as we lick our lips in the commentary box. Tiger, Tiger, burning bright from Blake. And who was it who once said, Bring me my arrows, desire? Well, these are arrows on Nine fire seven. already. We remind you it's the best of 15 legs, the first to win 8 is the winner, but if we get into an all-square situation at 7-7, seven, seven, it then has to be won by two clear legs. 5-0-1 of course, finishing on a double, so transfer scores, you know the rules, sit back and enjoy the quality. Like our packed audience here, these people, mainly working class people, horny handed tons of soil. A lot of them from Scotland, this is Glasgow and Edinburgh fortnight here in sunny Blackpool. This has become a major dance institution in this fantastic hall of the Winter Gardens. Well, the third dart really uh, needed the treble to leave uh, 12. And here's Everson looking at uh, 212. Of course, Deller had the darts here. He'll be anxious to hang on in here, but Everson's wrapping out a reminder. But he's right up his exhaust pipe. Again, he's from 180. Treble 7 into the shot. Leaves double 16. He needs 16. He wants the bullseye to open his account. 16th of an inch out. Well, that tremendous shot, that maximum from Deller, and in the five years now, he's hit. Lot. 38 in the first round. Peter Emerson. Maximum, and that's the shot, and he really turned that leg around. With a last little not burst of brilliance the there. The Here's field. Everson. Second and, uh, Peter he was trailing. Peter. It looked like he was dead. A maximum 180. Then one dart at double 16. And he's in front against a throw. Now, how is that going to affect the confidence of well, Keith Dallas? Well, him and Eric Bristow uh, carried all before them on the QE2 on a cruise stroke exhibition. Della won't let it phase him, I don't think. <laughs> Coming back. One hundred and eighty. This is fourteenth here in Blackpool. Here's how he did it. Well, a fair old lick already, Sid. Two maximum one eighties. Everson checking out in confident, clinical style. Well, should have been this crowd. It was like, it was like the Israelites when the Red Sea parted. They were stood outside for three hours before the session started and they ran in like Linford Christie. They really ran to their seats to get the best view. These are the cognoscenti of world sport. Yes, uh, here's Everson hitting that treble. The inside width of that treble is only 5 sixteenths of an inch and just see how he picks it out. Beautiful. 
Della has our sent. 140! Well, impacted by the pressure. They both know this is going to be very tight. So does the crowd. Sunlight does that. Slightly over pitches the dart and hits quarter of an inch higher than he means, Evison. 100! Got a good, He's good record here. 21. At Blackpool, Everson Della wants. Now then. Mm. 84. Just a lad. Pretty required. 158. 170 shot outs. Did Evison, an expert at the very high three dart finishes. Della looking good there to level this up now. 58. Keith requires 37. So Keith Della to hit straight back against the throat. Oh hey, yes. Here we have it now. I mean, like, got the throwback. Told you it was going to be tight. The crowd lapping this up like best. Third leg, Keith, the throw first. So here's Della. Hang on. He's won 61 legs here and lost 58 over the past four years. 212 scores of a ton. 40 now of maximum 180. Could be another one here. Just the wrong side of the wire. Everson, fourth overall in the averages on 30 point. To 3-2, he's won 97, lost 64, 350 tonnes before t and now 39, 180s, and there's a 40. Brilliant This yes. guy's unique camera from the company that won the BAFTA for coverage of Rugby Union Sky Sports, showing yet another insight to the heart of sport in action with a flight camera. Wow, we're not yet completed three legs and already we've had three maxims uh, Sid and this is the first <laughs> round remember we've got a whole week of this coming up and I wouldn't put money on, on anybody missing the 60 they are putting them into that 60 like eating spaghetti with a curry comb <laughs> look at this for accuracy 177 well, is it deliberate uh, throw there downstairs to lead himself a shot Della really thinking his game Brilliant stuff! 125. Beats <laughs> require 141. Wants to 15. Having a look here. 89. Beats require so 115, 115 for Peter Everson. He's renowned for his big finishing. He's got to come down for All 19. The Fifty nine. Oof. Keith uh, Fifty two. Only one way shorter to go here. Now double sixteen. Yes, and and he'll be happy with his finishing because he's picking them out Teller. like cherries off a tree. And we have a wonderful Both party way. of Nordic Peter. visitors. Peter. They're loving this. Slightly out of sync. On hitting his trebles, Everson. And Della, the man who blitzed the Great Bristol, I was there at Jolly's Club in 1983 when the milk drinking wonder boy did for Eric Bristol. 100. And you've got to say it, he's having an Indian sum of his career, Keith Della. He has worked hard at his professional game city. He's kept plugging away. He's there at all times on the phone, working hard to promote himself and the sport. 174. Everson here, really beginning to pile on the coal. Dave Long giving away the generation he was raised in. I'm a silicon chip lad myself, Dave. <laughs> Absolute wonderful order. The protocol of darts. 99. The crowd, tense, electric, but silent. Till they hit that red bit. Well, Everson's on a shot next throw to level up. 130. But he'll be happy with his game. He really is he throwing by 132. With a rhythm and confidence. He's got time here, Everson. Dinner on 209, so... 100. Peter Everson knows he'll be back, looking at double 16. But a pressure dart here. Anything over a ton pressures the shot. There's no pressure yet. 41. PC requires 32. This for leveling. 
to a 16. He's got 90 percent of the bed to aim at. He's he's giving himself hard at targets. Game shot. Squeeze it in, play. top end. Good darts. Relief. Fifth leg, please. Well, look at that. Peter Everson just to smite above uh, the ton. Landella on 98.78. That shows a bit of an early market sample. But that shows the pace, the blistering pace of this game. And I would suggest, and pin back yes, because I mean every word of this, that the man who wins this tournament will need a 103 to 105 average. 90 yards. One hundred and forty. Della should be favoured to get a pot at the double first. That you could do without that as well. Forced to cover. Oh, Lord Luggy off the nine treble nineteen wire. Seventy-seven. Well, it's always unlucky when you lose thirty percent of your scoring power. And uh, Della stepping in. Stella has the experience to relax and not rush the darts. <laughs> but this bloke has got the experience to plant a ton 40 or better. Yes, both these players could be in the very elite class of their generation. Nice Takes Keith to a two dart shot out, and again the question is how heavily can he pressure it? Could have done without the drift into that one. Got to come. Very right. slack darts, Dave. In fact, three not very happy darts. <laughs> and well, Keith here's the form. 24. Here's the form, man. 74. Yes, he's got the treble. Left him the double. 16. And we were there before him. Keith Della, happy with his finishing, moves into a lead at the break. He is the man of the moment here at Blackpool.